What is going on guys welcome back in today's video we're going to learn how to work with json files in python so let us get right into it all right now before we get into any of the code let's talk about why you should know how to work with json files the fact is that most apis be it for weather data be it for balance sheets for financial statements for stock data for any data actually if you're requesting something from an api chances are you're going to get back some json objects some json files um, so processing JSON objects and processing JSON files is very important for you as a programmer, especially if you are into data science um, and machine learning and uh, basically any field where you have to deal with a lot of um, with a lot of data coming in and going out. But also if you're into cybersecurity, you're going to deal with JSON files, maybe for different purposes, but you're going to have to know how to work with JSON files. And even if those things are not what you're into, even if you're not into cybersecurity, you're not into data science, you should just know about JSON files because JSON files are a very basic way to, um, to load data and to store data into those files. So we're going to learn how to do this in Python today. And for this, we only need to use the JSON uh, module. So there's nothing fancy about that. We're not going to install anything. We're just going to use the core Python package called JSON. Uh, and as an example, right away, let's say we have a simple dictionary here. Uh, and in this dictionary, uh, in this dictionary, we have some people. So we're going to say people is the key here. And people is just a list of people, which themselves are dictionaries. So they have, for example, a name uh, and they have, oh, let's say the name is, I don't know, Bob. And then Bob also has what's happening here. Come on. Bob also has an H, for example, 28. And Bob has a weight of 80 kilograms, for example. Uh, and then you have another person here, for example, let's say this is name Anna. And Anna has also an age, let's say 34, and also weight. Let's say Anna is, I don't know, 67 kilograms. And we can now copy that and we can say, okay, let's add two more people here. So let's just copy this here and paste it twice. And let's change this to, I don't know, Charles and this to Daniel. And there are 45 and uh, 21. And the weight of Daniel is 110 kilograms and Charles is 78, for example. So this is just a dictionary with some data. And now let's say we want to store that dictionary. Now, of course, we already talked about this in the pickle video, you can store that in a text file, you can try to do uh, I don't know, some fancy string formatting and so on. But the most intuitive way to store this is in a JSON file. So what we can do here is we can just go ahead and say, okay, turn this dictionary into a string so I can save this string into a file. So we're going to say JSON string is going to be JSON dot. And now we have two functions. We have dumps and we have loads. Dumps takes an actual JSON object and turns it into a string. So by saying JSON dumps and then the dictionary, what is it called? My dict. By doing that, we get the JSON string and we can now go ahead and say, okay, with open uh, my data dot JSON in writing mode, this is not writing bytes mode because we're writing a string uh, as F F dot write JSON string. So by doing that, we're saving this object into a JSON file. Let's run this and see what happens. We have a JSON file here and this looks horrible. Why is that? Because we have everything in one line. If we don't want that, we have to specify the indents keyword or the indent keyword, uh, which is this one here. And we can say, for example, two. And if we oh, indent like that, and if we rerun this, this is not the right function. We need to do it in a dumps function, obviously indent equals two. 
And if we now rerun this, you can see that we have a better looking JSON file. You can of course also set this to four if you want to, then it's going to look a little bit differently. There you go. Depending on what you prefer, you can also try one and it's going to look like that. It depends on what you prefer. So this is how you write a basic uh, or how you save a, ba a basic dictionary into a JSON file. Now let's do the other thing around uh, or let's do it the other thing. Uh, let's do it the other way around. Uh, let's get rid of all of this because we already have it in the JSON file here. And let's load this JSON file into Python and um, create a dictionary based on it. So for this, we're going to say with open my data dot json in reading mode sf we're going to say json object is going to be json dot loads and as a parameter f read so basically we're getting the string from this file and based on that string we're creating a dictionary which is going to be the json object so we can now go ahead and say print json object and we're going to see that this is going to be the dictionary that we just exported, as you can see here. So I can go ahead and say people and I'm going to get the list and I can also say people uh, zero. So the first one and we can see Bob H weight. I can also go ahead and say, OK, give me the name, whatever. I can work with this dictionary, even though I only have this JSON file here. So this is how you load JSON files into Python. Now let's look at a very simple object oriented example. Let's say we have uh, a class person and this person or this class has a constructor and inside of that we have name age weight again and we have self dot name equals name and we have self dot age equals age and we have self dot weight equals weight. And then we have a function called print info where we basically just say print self dot name self dot age and self dot weight. And then we have a simple function called get older with a parameter years. And then we're just going to say self dot age plus equals years. Just so we have some functions here. And then what we want to do is we want to be able to export this person uh, into a JSON file and to also load a new person from a JSON file. Uh, now, you can also do that with pickle if you want to actually serialize the, uh, the, the object, but maybe you don't want to serialize it for Python. Maybe you want to export it in JSON so that someone else can use it with a different programming language in a different context, uh, but you want to have the data. So let's say you want to do that. If you want to do that, you can create a method called safe to JSON, or you can also say export to JSON, whatever you want. Um, and of course, you need to uh, to provide a file name here. And when it comes to JSON, we already saw that we have two functions. We have loads and we have dumps. And basically, you have either a string that you convert into a dictionary, into a Python dictionary, or you have a Python dictionary that you convert into a string. Uh, no matter if it's actually a file, no matter if it's from a web request, you have a string or you have a dictionary and you can convert the one into the other one. Um, so in this case, we have a person and in order to create a JSON file, we would have to get the values as a dictionary. So we can say person dict equals and now we have name is going to be self dot name age is going to be self dot age and weight. Come on, weight is going to be self dot weight. Now this dictionary can now be saved in a file. So we can say with open, uh, actually with open file name in writing mode as F, we're just going to say uh, F dot write JSON dot dumps person dictionary. There you go. I think this should be fine. And of course, don't forget the indent because otherwise we're going to see everything in one line again. Um, and the other function or the other method that we're going to need here is load from JSON. And of course, if you have uh, a second application, for example, a Java application, you would have to have the same structure. So there you can have a class with person, uh, a class person with name H weight, uh, and you have the same 
Uh, it's a different code, it's a different programming language uh, that works in a different way, but the JSON structure is the same. So there you load it into a hash map or anything like that. Uh, but you can just use JSON to export a Python object and then import it into Java, for example. So load from JSON again with a file name here. And what we're going to do here is we're going to say with open file name in reading mode SF. What we're going to do is we're going to say data equals JSON dot load F dot read. So we get the string, we get the JSON string. Uh, we read that string and then we load loads actually not load uh, from that string. Now, what do we have here? We don't have a problem. Um, and now we just have to say self dot name equals data name and self dot h equals data h and self dot weight equals data weight, obviously. And that's actually all we need to do, right? So now we can go ahead and create a new person. For example, p1 equals person. We can call this guy Mike. We can say Mike is 27 years old and weighs 90 kilograms. Uh, and now what I can do is I can say p1.printinfo, of course. We can see. Then I can say p1.getOlder, for example, three years. And then I can say p1.save to JSON. So I can run this script and we have a problem here first. Position, ah, argument required. Let's say we want to call this Mike.json. And you can see that he was 27, then he got older three years. And in Mike.json, we can now see age 30. We can see the Mike object here. Now let's delete all of that. And let's say P1 or P2 equals person with none, none, none. This is not a best practice way to initialize uh, an empty person or an undefined person, but let's just do it for now. And then P2 load from JSON mike.json p2 print info. So if I run this now, you can see mike3090. So we can load files, we can export files. Uh, this is how you basically work with JSON and Python. Remember, you can either have a string that you turn into a dictionary or a dictionary that you turn into a string. Um, and this is basically what you need. And if you work with stock APIs, if you work with weather APIs, with balance sheet APIs, you can use the same two functions, dumps and loads, in order to deal with those uh, with those API responses. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.